Good morning, YouTube pipe smokers. So most of you have heard any tobacco-related content is being uh, demonetized. If your channel was monetized, don't affect me. But um, I, I did some research online, and here's what I found: the article about what is not suitable for YouTube ads and Here's the list. Inappropriate language, violence, adult content, harmful or dangerous acts, hateful content, incendiary and demeaning, recreational drugs and drug-related content, tobacco-related content, firearms-related content, controversial issues and sensitive events, adult themes and family content. And then here's the breakdown of tobacco-related content. Promoting tobacco, cigarettes, cigars, chewing tobacco. Promoting tobacco-related products, tobacco pipes, rolling papers, vape pens. Promoting products designed to simulate tobacco smoking, herbal cigarettes, e-cigarettes, and vaping. Those are all limited or no ads will be allowed on those subjects. So a lot of people are angry with YouTube, especially if you were on the receiving end of the money. And uh, a good example of that is Cigar Obsession. He made his living from YouTube and in a matter of a stroke of a pen they eliminated his um, ability to do so. So now he has to do something else, Patreon or something else. Um, Kane Rod Piper, who just went monitor monitorizing his channel in January, I think he said. And he wasn't making a lot, but he also ceased to make anything now. And, you know, like some people, someone said yesterday, um, not to have seen it coming would be, I guess, burying your head in the sand. I mean, tobacco is not the uh, up-and-coming thing. It's on the way out. Um, we can make the argument, should it be? But uh, it doesn't matter what we think. It's on the way out. Um, I mean, just, I don't know if you pay attention, but CVS years ago, maybe five years ago, stopped selling tobacco products. And now the newest commercials are doubling down on that. We made a decision, they say, five years ago, uh, to be more caring about you, so we stop selling tobacco products. So, it's not far before Walgreens follows suit. Um, as it is now, the Walgreens by me, you can buy a Dr. Grable pipe, and some, I think the only tobacco I saw was uh, Captain Black. And you could, I keep a monitor, the bags, nobody's buying it. I mean, the, the same bags has been there for years. Um... So it's on the decline. I mean, so the, the interesting thing is, though, say I really don't know how YouTube works with the algorithms. You know, being some machine-based thing, they must look for keywords or whatever the thing is. But I have to believe, I mean, most men I know are either into, <clears throat> they do smoke an occasional cigar, I personally don't have any close pipe smoking friends that are that I see face to face. Um, but most men I know either fish, hunt, or hunted at some time, or into guns, into tobacco. Um, you know, man, manly things. It's, tobacco and men have been associated for a long, long time. I know there's uh, women that are into uh, cigars and pipes, but for the most part, it's a man-dominated uh, hobby. Um, so you would think that advertisers would target the men, and a, a cigar channel or a pipe channel would obviously be more geared towards men. But I guess the way the thing works is they just put ads on whatever videos um, 
they want, and it's not based on subject of the video. You know, you think woodworking channels would have uh, ads about woodworking or stains or something like that. Instead, you'll see an ad for maybe um, shampoo or something. I, I don't know how it works all, uh, fully. But I'd have to think there's still a market um, out there. But it doesn't matter. Uh, YouTube decided, and they must have gotten pressure, I guess, from most of their advertisers that they don't want to be associated with channels of the subject matter I just mentioned. And uh, So now what do guys like that have been monetizing do? Well, you have to rethink your channel and use it as a uh, stepping stone to guide people to a website. And if you're selling something, uh, guide them to that product. Start a club, maybe, where you have to join. Um, look for private sponsors. Maybe talk to cigar companies and they can sponsor your channel. Because um, it looks like you, we're going to still be able to do the tobacco uh, videos. You're just not going to be able to get paid, make money off them. For now, maybe one day will come where they're going to ban all tobacco videos. So you have to keep that in the back of your mind as well. I don't know, it's a difficult thing, confusing, and uh, a little bit depressing at the same time. But, you know, uh, hopefully the best thing that can happen would be another company comes along that gives YouTube competition. But uh, I don't see that happening anytime soon. That would allow full freedom of speech and... Um, It'd be an interesting experiment to see what venue would do better, you know. But anyway, until that comes along, I guess we're stuck with what we have. So I wish you all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.